The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark, chapter 16, beginning at the ninth verse. Having risen in the morning on the first day of the week, Jesus appeared first to Mary of Magdala, from whom he had cast out seven devils. She then went to those who had been his companions, and who were mourning and in tears, and told them. But they did not believe her when they heard her say that he was alive and that she had seen him. After this, he showed himself under another form to two of them as they were on their way into the country. These went back and told the others, who did not believe them either. Lastly, he showed himself to the eleven themselves while they were at table. He reproached them for their incredulity and obstinacy, because they had refused to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. In today's Gospel reading, the disciples refused to believe when Mary Magdalene comes to them and told them that she had seen the Lord. They refused to believe again when two disciples who had been on their way into the country tell them that they had seen the Lord. Eventually, the Lord himself appears to the disciples and reproaches them for their failure to believe those who had seen him. It seems that nobody, not even Jesus' closest associates, was prepared to believe that he had risen from the dead unless they could see him for themselves. Only then was their incredulity and obstinacy overcome. Unlike those first disciples, we have no option but to believe that the Lord has risen on the basis of the reports of others. The Lord will not appear to us as he appeared to his original disciples. In John's Gospel, Jesus declares, Blessed are those who believe without having seen him, in the way the original disciples saw him. That beatitude embraces all of us here this morning. All who believe without having seen. We believe on the basis of those who have seen the Lord, something the original disciples were very slow to do. The Beatitude suggests that we who believe without having seen are no less privileged than those who believed on the basis of seeing the Lord for themselves. The Beatitude seems to suggest that we are more blessed in some ways because of our willingness to believe without having seen. Yet although we may not have seen the Lord, we experience His presence in a variety of ways, in and through His Word, the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, and in and through each other, the members of His body.